So what we're going to be doing here is, um, this is the Hobby King um, blue LCD panel, for a, it's actually for a 9X radio. Uh, it's going to be going into the 7, uh, DX7S spectrum. Um, what I've got going on in the background is I've got a my soldering station over there heating up at the moment. Just over there. Right, so that temperature now, great, so that's been about a minute going. Um, and what we're going to do, we're just going to do a quick couple of mods to the um, to this unit here before we start getting into it. So we'll just take it out of the bag. You've got your little felt pad there, and you've got the actual LCD panel itself. Now, um, there's a, there's a, as you can see here, there's a little plug on here with two wires going into a little wee circuit board. It's got a resistor in there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this here take this um, heat shrink off I'm going to remove these leads off the board, I'm going to actually desolder them, a lot of guys cut them off, I'm just going to desolder them off and then what the idea is, you, you plug this here this plug into this end here ok so I'm just going to cut this through here, this um, heat shrink here, just cut through it so that I can actually get to the board Try not to scratch that panel <laughs> like that. Oh, I'm just going to take this apart here. Okay, so that's the heat shrink there gone. Right, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, without putting too much strain, because you can actually pop these little solder joints out of the um, actual LCDs themselves, because what it is is it's a little piece of perspex basically with silver tape wrapped around, around the outside of these. Um, and the light, the LEDs, because there's two of them, they actually fire through and reflect all the way around the, the panel and the actual shiny side fires the light, I think it comes out the shiny side, I'll, I'll double check that later but uh, so yeah, so what we want to do is just carefully turn it over um, and I'll just get it over this way because I'm left handed so I'm going to be using my soldering iron in my left hand what we're going to need is we're going to need some solder I'm just using 6040 uh, lead tin, tin lead, 60% tin, 40% lead. Uh, if you want an easier job to, to, to work with this stuff, it's pretty good. It's got um, flux and core flux inside, so if you want a better job or a, a, an easier solder to work with, you can use um, 63 tin, 37 lead percent. Um, it seems to work a lot better. So I've just got my little tip on there now, just give it a bit of a clean up and I'm going to tin the end of it just with some solder just to make it um, the heat transfer better through the, the job I'm about to do just give it a little bit of a flick off so you got a nice little tin tip there um, and then what I'm going to do here get, oh, you're going to need some heat shrink as well so I've got a set of servo wires that I'm going to use off an old servo, but you can't buy the stuff. Um, I think I bought a meter of it for, from uh, one of the hobby guys, I think it was Hobby King or something like that, for, I think it was a dollar fifty or something plus freight. Um, anyway, you know, up to, up to five bucks, so if you want to make a good job of it, you can um, get, it, get it looking quite tidy with long leads on there, and that way you haven't got all your... Um, you know, bits and pieces hanging off there, so um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to desolder these connectors off this board here so first of all I'm going to use my pliers with my rubber band on it so I'm just going to open that out like so grab it and I'm just going to turn it so that I've got access to it alright, so I'm just going to basically get my soldering iron and I'm just going to touch it on and pull each one off there's one two three four 
five and six. That's it. Off. So that was pretty quick. So then what we're going to do here is if you've ever had a look at any of the um, tutorials on how to do this job, um, basically what it's saying is you, when you plug this back into this, I'll take this off now, when you plug the plug here back into this side of the actual connector, like so, like that, um, basically what it says, from all the tutorials I've read, is that um, the first wire don't use, this wire here, the second wire is positive and the third wire is negative and I always thought well, why don't they actually take the cables out of here and make the right colour the right colour and take the ones you don't want off to save confusion so that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to do so I'm just going to get this plug back out again okay like so put this aside for now and I'm just going to flick these plugs out and get the right ones in place. So we want this first one removed and taken out. So basically all you do to do, to do that, which is pretty easy, I don't know why people don't do it, is either get a thin razor blade or you can use a fine um, flat blade screwdriver and what you do is you flick up the tab because there's a little lock tab at the bottom here. You just flick this up like so just give it a flick like that you don't want to break it off because you want to use it again and just flick it up and as it's trying to remember where it goes you just pull the cable out so you do, I'll do that for the third one as well this one here and all the rest of them. Pull these, so we'll leave that second one in place and we'll just pull the rest because it makes a tidier job of it I think anyway. So just flick that one out and then the black one just slot it back into the third position next to the red one. You can use a screwdriver to put, prick that back in again or Usually it will go back in, but you just got to make sure it's in, and then I push in the tag back down again, just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And that's it, you've got it wired basically. So you can either put extensions on those, um, which I'm going to do, and then just put a little bit of heat shrink on here. to um, thing. So that basically that's set up, ready to roll, all I need to do now is just plug it back in, into here, no filing, no nothing needed to do, and that's a good solid connection in there. Um, and then, if you want to, you can actually heat shrink that back up again, which I'm going to. I've got some big fat heat shrink here that I'm going to use. It's real big, it's actually really over the top, but it'll do the job. So, I'm just going to cut that to length about there. Where's my scissors? Just cut a little length of that off. Like so. Just to basically stop shorting out uh, on any components inside the um, transmitter once I get it in place. And just uh, and it also holds that plug together too nicely. So, so I'm just going to get my little blowtorch here. Basically, give it a preheat. Then I just get my pliers on the end and just seal it. Press it together. It's still while well, it's still hot, and that kind of crimps it all back together like 
really nicely. So that's pretty much it. And it's ready for the soldering of the wires onto here. So, so that's pretty all, all you need to do to prep your um, LED for uh, for work. So what I'm going to do now, though, is in my next video, I'm just going to test this and make sure we've got the right side to the brightest, so you guys will know. Um, and try to keep your fingers off the um, off this here to stop making marks on it. So you've got a dull side and you've got a really shiny side. That side there's shiny, that side there's dull. You can see the different light reflection. That's quite dull. That one's shiny. Okay. So we'll see which side is the side that you want facing your LCD when you put it into place. So I'm just going to set up my gear for testing that in a moment. I've got a, um, a modified power supply that I've got over here over there and I've got 5 volt and I'm going to run that 5 volts to this unit and we're going to test it ok so we'll just be back in a minute ok I've got my 5 volt test set up here I've just got to connect it up so I'm going to put my red one on first like so and I'm going to pull the crocodile clip over so that it's pretty well protected and then I'm going to do the same with my black one and we'll see if this thing works. I'll just dull this light down so that you can see and we'll see if it works. Okay, we've got one side like so. It actually looks a lot different in the camera than it does actually by eye. And I'll flip it over the other way and it's actually quite dull on that side compared to this side. This side's the brightest side. So we'll just turn the light back on and see, and that's the shiniest side of the LCD panel that will go against the back of the LCD screen of the DX7. So dull side goes to the PCB board and the shiny side will go. So that's going to look really nice when it's sitting in place. Um, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. Okay, guys. So that's uh, yeah. That's basically my little tester there. I just used a little five volt, uh, little power supply that I converted with a. I could have had 3.3 volts as well, but I just wanted five and 12. So that'll pump that that unit there pumps about 14 amps consistently. Oh, 11, 11 amps. Sorry. Um, and then I've got my big unit over there that I well, my big U unit that I use over there, my 600 watt for charging my um, 6S batteries. So yeah, so that's uh, off the point, but yeah, so this is ready for um, pretty much installing. So as as you saw, I've got the um, wire 2 and wire 3 set up on the, and I'll re-plug it back in here. So out of terminal 2 is the red, and out of terminal 3 is the negative. And as you can see, I've removed all the other wires, just as I showed. And I've just put some nice little heat shrink on there. And that's pretty much protected that for installation. And all I've got to do is put a bit of heat shrink. I'll just use a little bit of this red stuff I've got lying around. And I've got a bit of black as well somewhere. Um, and then I'll just extend my wires. I'm just going to use some silicon, some old servo wires. And um, here we go. Some of these here and that's what I'm going to use to run my wiring loom to my positive and negative outputs on the transmitter okay so thanks for watching guys and gals and I'll um guys and gals and we'll um, catch up with you soon cheers we'll see you over now